Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Hey, fat ass. Looks like you and Lyft over here have the same paint jobs. You, sir, suck. Hey, Uber, fuck off. What in the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Silent Bob, do something. This sucks. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. And today we're taking a look at another Transformers Robots in Disguise figure and it's Quillfire. And I've been waiting for this figure for a while. I did do a review on the One Step Changer. If you've not seen that, I will add a card to that here. But he's been one of my more favorite of the Decepticons out of this show. Uh, still need to get a Bisque figure. Um, and they've actually repainted this guy. Um, I Scatter Strike or something. I don't know. I can't remember what the name of the figure is. Um, but they've repainted him. And I've seen that out on the shelves. But this is the only Quillfire figure I've ever actually seen in hand, so I had to snatch him up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. All right, so here we have Quillfire in package. It says Robots in Disguise up here. It says Transformers. Um, we've got him in his alternate mode there. There he is, looking pretty cool. And then we get this artwork of Quillfire up there. Same artwork on the side with a very kind of woodsy kind of look going on there. Um, it says he works with a Minicon, uh, which is pretty neat. So just kind of a close-up. Really quick, there's the artwork. Pretty cool. Transformers. There it is. Here's the artwork on the side. And there he is in the packaging looking all kinds of cool. Here is the back of the packaging. And it's very similar to what we've been getting. Obviously, um, here is his transformation steps on the back. Robot, vehicle, he works with the Minicon partner. How to play the game in lots of words. So just kind of a close up. Here are the transformation instructions. If you so need them, you can pause and play those back. There he is with his little Minicon partner. And yeah, so he's a robot and truck thing. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Quillfire out of box and see what we think. So here we have Quillfire out of the package. And overall, I gotta say, I really do like this figure. I see this getting retooled as uh, Bulkhead, actually, and I really hope they do, uh, um, and I'll, I'll show off why here in a minute. I mean, you could really easily do it by switching out the hands and the head, and uh, yeah, it'd be really, really cool. Overall, a really, really nice figure. I like the paint, the browns, the golds, um, the grays. Um, I'm really happy we're getting more of the deluxe. Decepticons uh, in this wave than we have in the first wave. Um, it was really all about the Autobots, and this one's really about the Decepticons, which I really do dig. And uh, it's funny because in the package, um, this piece right here. All right, so in the package, this is down like this, and then this piece is down like that. And this has nothing to do with transformation. Um, however, he's got one quill um, right here. I'm just going to throw him down. That you could use a sword if you want to. It will fit into his hand. Um, so, I mean, you could use this as a weapon piece like that. However, um, I'm wondering if there was going to be a play gimmick. Because in the cartoon show, he obviously shoots these quills at the back. And they've got, like, they are multiple quills. He's kind of like Green Arrow. And he's got some acidic ones and some electronic ones and et cetera, et cetera. But if you look... Um, there's a hole there, and I'm thinking that there was going to be a spring load gimmick when you uh, push this up. There was probably, because this can fold up this way, you'd be able to launch this particular quill out. And I wonder if they can that in production to save cost. Um, I just totally, totally see that there, um, which is interesting that they didn't do that. But yeah, that's, that, that's, that's, that's it right there. And that's, that's my guess. Um, it might be the wrong guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, but uh, overall, I really, really do like the figure. I think they did a good job with it. Um, he kind of looks like an orca. 
<laughs> the head sculpt does to me. Uh, but overall, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. For comparison, here we have Quill Fire versus Quill Fire, and uh, these guys are just absolutely night and day. This is such an upgrade to this one, and I liked this one when I got it, um, but uh, I mean, oh, you've got to go with this one. Absolutely. I mean, it's just hands down the better figure. Um, so glad they did this guy um, and made him a deluxe. Um, just looks top notch in comparison. So as far as articulation goes on this guy, I'm going to take his gun out. And oh, the one thing I like about the gun, this is pretty cool. Um, the gun, if I can get a close up here, uh, it's got quills on it, just like him. And it's got his little logo etched in there which is very nice. It's on both sides. Um, I thought that was a nice little touch um, that was appreciated from uh, the designers. And again, like I said, articulation. Um, he does have a slight swivel up here. Um, not much. His head does look up. It's a little loose. It does look down. Um, his mouth opens up. Yum. Uh, which is kind of cool. I do dig that. Um, his shoulders... Uh, they go out that far, um, they go up that far, they're on a ball socket right there. Um, he's got uh, some movement here at the elbow, I guess, and then he's got a mushroom peg right there. So he can get some good range of movement. His wrist kind of moves in a little, um, and that's mainly for transformation. He does have a uh, twist at uh, the waist, but it's a little difficult because of the way he's built. He's so stocky. So you can uh, twist it at the waist. Um, and again, mainly for transformation there. His uh, legs go up at the fodder. They go that far back. They go really, really wide out. And then he has a hinge um, for his foot. Again, mainly for transformation. But overall, I think um, they did a good job with the design of the toy. Now, he does transform into a uh, truck-type vehicle. Looks a lot like Bulkhead or Brawn, I think, which is kind of that generic go-to truck now uh, for a lot of Transformers. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and transform Quillfire and see what we think. <laughs> Fire in his truck mode, and this thing's kind of annoying to transform. As you saw, uh, the arm likes to fall off the uh, ball joint there, and I've had problems with the legs do the same thing because everything is just so like, argh, she's so stocky that you just can't get anything to move around proper. And I also noticed that um, the quality of the thing um, doesn't want to clamp together very well, especially up in this. Uh, quadrant up here, but it will go together. You just kind of have to mash it together. Um, the look of the vehicle, I like it. I like the colors. Um, I like the design of the thing. I think they did a good job with it. Um, overall, looks really, really nice. I wish it had a Decepticon logo. I'd like a Decepticon logo right there. It'd be really nice. His uh, weapon stores in there. And the odd thing is, there's no port to connect the gun in vehicle mode. Uh, which is not a bad thing, but it's kind of strange for a Transformer toy nowadays. But as you can see, he looks like Bulkhead. I could so see this guy as Bulkhead. Just switch out the head, switch out the hands, blam, there you go. You've got a Bulkhead toy. I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah, pretty decent. Uh, just kind of a close-up of everything. Um, like the grill. I like this metallic... Uh, charcoal for the windows. I think that looks good. I like how the brown's got a little bit of a metallic flake in it. Looks good. The red paint there. Um, yellow paint, kind of hard to see because um, it's not focused. Focus. Ta -da. Um, but there is yellow paint apps right there. Um, I like the little um, uh, hook right there molded in with the wire. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a light brown uh, ring around the wheel, which is very neat, very nice. A little detail you don't see a lot anymore, like the vents there, the little luggage rack back there. Wish we had some um, 
paint apps right there. That'd been kind of cool. And I'd like to have some brake lights back there. That would have been nice. But overall, not a bad looking truck mode at all. For comparison, here we have Quillfire and Quillfire side by side. And um, yeah, this one's a lot cooler looking, I think, than the One Step. A um, lot more paint apps, just a nicer looking vehicle. Um, looks like a different vehicle too, actually. I mean, this looks like it has more of a, an extended cab than this one does, but uh, yeah, overall pretty cool. I like how they both have the tow hook on the front. That's kind of nice. Um, so they kept that uh, little detail, which is very cool. Here's uh, the One Steps version. So yeah, definitely pretty neat. Um, uh, which one's a better truck? Well, it's got to go to the Deluxe for sure. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I do like the sculpt of it. I love the paint job. He looks like an orca to me. He really does. Um, I like the Decepticon logo there, his shoulders. He's a nice bulky bot, but again, that kind of falls back to problems with transformation because the ball sockets like to pop up because everything's so compact. I love the spikes on the back there. Um, I like how the one main spike can pop out and become a sword, but it seems like there should have been a spring load gimmick um, to get that to work a little bit more for playability. I don't know. It just it se just really seems like it should have been that way to me. But uh, overall, very, very cool. I think it captures the look of the character from the cartoon, which is nice. Looking at the midsection of the character, uh, it's interesting that he's got this port on his back there. Uh, that seems like that should have been on the reverse side of that panel so that we got a place to put his gun in vehicle mode. Um, the arms are pretty decent. I wish the doors would have flipped up um, to kind of close off the internal uh, arm there. I think that would have given the arm a little bit more bulk to it and kind of hide that you know gap. I love the gun. I love how it's got quills on it. I love how it's got his logo. The hands are cool. Um, I think they did a good job with that stuff. Now looking at the legs of the figure, I like the little gold stripes on his feet. It balances pretty well, but it can topple over. Um, the, the light brown, very cool. Um, I think they did a good job with that uh, bit of it. They're a little hollow on the backside, but hey, that's the general makeup of Transformers nowadays. Um, and I do like how it's got the ports on the inside to store the weapon um, in the vehicle mode. I think that is very cool, well done. The little vents on the side there, again, just a nice little touch uh, that looks good both in robot and vehicle mode. So is the Robots in Disguise Quillfire uh, Warrior Class figure something you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you like the new Robots in Disguise show, you definitely want this guy to fill out your Decepticons. Um, if you like the bulky type of bots, you might like him. If you like Beast Former type toys, you're probably going to like him. Um, overall, I think this is a great toy. I was very happy to find him. It's the only one I've seen in hand. Um, I have seen the repaint. I think he's on the scavenger team um, pretty abundantly. So if you can't find this guy, you can find that one. Um, the biggest complaint I've got about him is the arms and the legs popping off the ball sockets. They do very easy during transformation, so be aware of that. Other than that, I mean, it's a pretty solid little toy. So there he is, Quillfire from Transformers Robots in Disguise. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.